playing her in the bot lane. Because I believe in you, Lou. I, I still believe. I mean, she, well, <laughs> she was completely broken. She so was, there, yeah. There's a good reason she was playing top and mid. <laughs> because she could win every lane, also win every match, because everyone on your team could die. But, uh, you know, support Lou is still pretty good. Yeah. And then the uh, Cho'Gath can be picked up there by Curse of also. That is uh, Maluna's, not only his most played support, but uh, his most successful support as well in the months of leading on up to IPL5. Uh, the support Cho'Gath? Support I'd up to Jungle. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a... Ban, damn it. That's a uh, really good support Cho'Gath. That's a really good support Cho'Gath. <laughs> damn it. It's been so long. It's been such a long day. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad, uh, I'm glad. Shout out to support Cho'Gath players so out there, but <laughs> you've not seen the representation today. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We, we, we often confuse Jungle, well, not Cho'Gath. Jungle Cho'Gath, Cho support Lulu, top Zin. And if they switch Zin and Cho between top and Jungle, I'm just going to be even more confused. I mean, they, <laughs> they do a lot of top Zin's out. Zin's out, really, really a fun top laner to watch because he is, uh, he is all in. Yeah. Someone like Irelia, you can disengage by using the stun. Like That's kind of what you do. You go in, you disengage with the stun or the slow, yeah. kind of walk out of there. Zen's out. You use a slow to initiate, and then all of your follow-up comes a little bit after, so it's hard to really escape those one-on-one -on -one fights, but he's so good at the 1v1, it's yeah. it's hard to deal with. But that Malphite pick could be, I would assume it's going top lane, because that's where it fits, and it makes sense against Zen's out, because he deals so much physical damage. Right. And then uh, just... Mulling over the remaining picks, so you still need a mid, you still need a, an AD over here on CLG. Uh, did troll us with the Zillion, I doubt that's going to be the pick, but could be. it could be. It could be. I wouldn't mind that. It's just like, oh, what is it? I thought we were watching M5 for a second. The problem is they don't know what they're going up against, so I wouldn't expect right. a Zillion pick. And uh, mid lane Zillion, he does have some counter lane, so it's. Yeah. It'd be weird not to see it. There we go, Oriana. That makes a lot of sense. Oriana, Definitely one yeah. of big pedal piece common picks. Yeah, Oriana makes a lot of sense. It's something CLG uh, Prime is comfortable with. And also the Caitlyn pick. We've been seeing uh, quite a bit of Caitlyn Nunu actually uh, as well. I mean, this morning even we actually saw Curse and A uh, run the uh, run the push lane there. It was really aggressive. Got a lot of CS so quickly, and that was like what really dominated them. They had the CS lead, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Caitlyn, not really known for her, I'd say mid game to late game presence. She has a great yeah. late game just because of the range. And uh, paired up with a Nunu, it's going to be exceptionally high damage. But you get so much push going on uh, early game. It's all about threatening towers, not necessarily players, and everything comes from the goal that you gave from that, as look at that Lux pick, in coming man. in fast, coming in strong. That was really quick, that was a really quick pick, too, it was like, oh man, Lux, we gotta run that, who ran, uh, we seen, uh, was it uh, Black Bean, we've seen play Lux, I think we also saw some uh, Lux from uh, CLG EU, so it's, it's kind of weird, like, some of, the, uh, some of the strategies actually going across teams, across regions, it's a little strange to me, but I kind of like it. I mean, Azubu Frost has run Lux, uh, Lux is... I'd say getting more and more popular as a pick, and it's mm -hmm. it's a very fun pick. Like she normally has trouble with someone like Katarina. Katarina yeah. can annihilate Lux. It's not even fair. But if you're someone like Oriana, someone who has to play that range game, I mean, Extinct may not kill Big Fat LP in lane, but he's gonna have great roaming presence. Just getting ganks off by being in the river yeah. and getting the ultimate for damage. That that's how he ganks, and that's all he needs to do. And that's that's how scary and just kind of present Lux is in the map. She's not. Yeah, she doesn't have the teleport, but she has relatively safe landing against some characters, and if you have a chance to pick it yep. into a safe character, it's a great pick. And I'm sure that the Cursor you also saw the difficulty that CLG had with it when they were going up in their uh, team kill match uh, against their uh, their EU brother team, which uh, we had that, that clarification from Pluto earlier today. Is like, do you want brother team, sister team? What do you like? I like that. It was, it was, it was, a, it was a question that warranted an, uh, an answer. <laughs> I, I love it every, every time uh, Pluto asks a question. And, like it's a really good question, but sometimes the player is just like, "Man, why?" He's he's got a really good point with this, but I don't really want to answer. It's like they're good <laughs> questions and they're fun to hear the answer, but the player is just like, "Oh, yeah." And he, you know, he's honest. He's harsh, which he makes does. it so cool. But you know, it's 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 what you need to do sometimes. But uh, there we go. All the picks are going in. We're going to be loading on into this just in a second. So or again, this is winners bracket. Loser drops down. To, for, to uh, loser this match drops down to play Curse and A tomorrow, I believe, and then uh, the winner actually goes on to play the winner of uh, TPA and Fnatic. Which, uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's, that's me <laughs> yeah. all the match. That's what that's all. And still, is, yeah, this is this is CLG North America. They're representing all of NA in winners right now. Right of the six North American teams, five currently in losers. It's just these guys. Yeah, and two gone. Yeah, two gone with a uh, fear of being eliminated by Meat Playground and Team Dynamic being eliminated by Curse. So lots of North America kills going on, as well as North America versus North American losers. Someone had to go home. 
Yeah. And, you know, this is it's kind of scary. I want to see a North American team do well. Right now, in winners, it's only CLG. Obviously, TSM, Meet Playground are still around, as well as Curse North America. So they're all alive. Yeah. But they're down in losers. These guys got to do well. Yep. So uh, we got the uh, we got Curse EU actually Welcome moving on down, going over up to the uh, tri ramp. Just see if they can get invade over into uh, CLG's blue. Ward eliminated right as it is placed over into that side brush. Got everybody right there just in a moment taking out that ward. And uh, with that, they're happy with that. Throw it on the Oriana orb also just to get a little bit of vision. But they realize that right now Curse EU has all decided to leave. Loco Doko getting trapped over on a tray ramp. The light binding coming on in first blood going to extinct. That was really quick. Loco Doko just a little bit too far out of position. Trying to get that war down, trying to get it into the river, just you know, to see that coming. They thought they had the jukes, they thought they had enough time to really get in there and secure it, but oh, just a bit too early or a bit too late on that. That's yeah. unfortunate. That's the power Lux has in those level one engagements. If you have a Lux light binding, it's as strong as well. It's like we're gonna dark binding. They're right. both really good bindings, and they're both really good at securing those I, level one kills. It just dawned on me the name. Small. That's now now the names make sense now. Now it, I understand. Is it actually called light binding for Lux? I'm actually not positive. It just sounds right. Light binding. Light, 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 light binding. Light, light binding. Yes. Yeah. Light binding. Is <laughs> a, a light binding. The moderator. Yeah. I'm actually writing for <laughs> Which, who, who, who is here? He is actually backstage on the main stage. So uh, you know, shout outs, shout outs to all of our mods. Also, you guys are do you guys are doing an amazing job. Creighton, right here in the mid with Batoy, making the transition. They don't care if they're seen. They're going top lane. And uh, meanwhile, you're looking at Maluno. He's taking care of the blue buff. It uh, was about to reset, but it looks like he should be keeping that to himself. And where, where the hell are Creighton and what Batoy are they going? Doing? I'm okay, they're, they're lane swapping again. They thought the lane swap was coming out from C CLG, and they have to send Nagar's top lane. Zen Zhao versus Caitlyn Nunu. Zen Zhao's not going to do anything. That's a big problem. Yeah. Even against Malphite, it may not be the best lane. It, he does have a decent uh, lane against him, but against Caitlyn Nunu, he's just going to get pressured. He's going to be more or less irrelevant besides his ultimate when it comes to those later game fights. This is so much time wasted though. I mean, this is free time to farm uh, for uh, for double lift here. And uh, Loco Doku can actually caught out once again just by sheer auto attacks. Uh, Hotshot unfortunately not taking full advantage of uh, the fact that he had you know, a little bit of an open lane. So he hasn't really been doing a whole hell of a lot just uh, harassing back and forth up here with Angish. Top lane going to be kind of rough for Angus now. I mean, Malphite's not known as strong in this laner, but he gets to build so much armor, gets so much mitigation. It's right. really tough to go against that rock. So I'd expect him to try and get a lot of auto attacks either on creeps to his sustain. As Patoi taking a lot of double lift damage. That's how Caitlyn works in the bot lane. She just right. gets lots of free auto attacks off, and you really can't avoid it. Yeah, especially when you have the movement speed buff coming in from that blood boil. You just dip in, dip out, free shots, and that's really, that's, that's really like one of the big parts of the game down there in bot lane. If you can manage to get free harass, it works so much better in your favor. You're scared to get a me lane, you force them back, and you, that opens up more time for you to just free farm. I mean, also, one of the big problems Lulu has, she's only 300 moves. We won the slowest in the game. Oh, Lulu looking for a gank top. Can they get this off, though? Hot shot. He's trying to make it back to tower. There's a pop up. Flashes into the <laughs> rupture, but it's okay. He's at tower. But that was still Getting a flash force. That is a successful gank. And he got what he needed. He got an objective. There is a Chaucer there looking for a fight up there. If it's yep. 2v2, with that flash down, don't know if Hotshot can fight. They don't have Ignite. And Double Up still throwing down those cues. Wants to push the lane over to the tower, make it a little bit harder for Ezreal just to get his farm on. And uh, you know, right now there, there's a there's a, a, a notable lead actually on Caitlyn over Ezreal. So and the, the push it seems to be working. Loco Doku with all those ice balls from the brush dissuading Patoy from getting too close. And the problem is that Creed, every time he goes up for a CS, that's a chance for Double Up to get that auto attack off. Yep. I mean, maybe he can walk up, get one in return, but it's just gonna it's never gonna be a good trade for him. Look at that damage wow. coming out, getting hit. By her Q, lots of DPS. Now he's low. Now he has to be careful because maybe one auto attack, a flash, that could be death. He gets yeah. hit by a headshot. He's gone. Yeah, that's just like I'm so glad you're not six right now. But double with all this time to farm, he's getting very close. So there's a there's a window, of, there's probably like a window of like two three minutes where he can still actually back and get healthy. Big Ooh. taking a huge chunk from Extinct and that combo. And you know that's the thing with Lux. Lux is fantastic if you land your skill shots. It'd get a few more of those like that. 
That could actually be a quick oh, kill creative. for Extinct. And look at this. Look oh, at Creatin, this. Creatin. I always want to Creatin. say Creatin, but it's great. I heard Creatin from a lot of different people. That, that name tends to change pronunciation. Oh, he's so low. Wow, the oh. shield just at the last possible second. He does have heal. He can survive if they go he for could. a burst. But he's got to press that button, and the damage will come out so quickly, he may not have the time for it. Yeah, just for, for, for everything, just please keep your hands on your keyboard. If you pick your nose or something, you could actually die, and we would all hate to see that. Chouser here up in the top lane. Recognizing that uh, Angus is getting a little bit too far pushed up, and Hotshot, he wants to harass, he gets down that movement speed slow, here comes the axe for a little bit more, the ghost has been popped, flash in response, Angus wants to get away, just escapes the push, you got the swings coming from Olaf, will the be enough before he gets the tower? No, he does not live, nice kill from Chouster there in top lane. And that's kind of how Angus, or not Angus, but Zenzel works in the top lane. Like, he had two auto attacks off. He could have turned around and got the knockup off, but that's not a good disengage. He's still no. going to turn around, still going to waste some time, and that gives either Chaucer or Hot Shot some time to yeah. get free damage off. And that is, that is one of the inherent problems with Zen, is that once you commit, you commit. There is no, no. real Once escape. you're in, um, unless you knock... Well, actually, you have to use his dash to get to a minion, because if not, if you use his ultimate for a knockback, they're right. going to stay in range anyways. Right. And, like, you've got to be very car careful. Once you hit six, you do have that disengage, but... It's, it's, not, still, it's not the best in the world either. Yeah, it can go wrong. It can go very wrong. Yeah, but if he gets properly farmed, if he itemizes correctly, he just becomes an absolute menace. You he does do need, not kill him. He does not need to leave. It's like <laughs> his DPS will not be the highest in the game, but his like, his presence in the team fight, the amount of control it provides, the slow. Yes. And uh, very importantly, just the knockback on his ultimate if used well can just completely win a fight. Yep, he'll be good. It's just a matter of if he can get there. But for the time being, though, going to return back up to the top lane. How's he actually doing in terms of the levels? About a half a level behind Hot Shot. But fortunately enough, the wave is pushing into him, so he'll have some time to catch up just a small tad. Uh, meanwhile, up here over by the blue buff, Chouster going to be passing, uh, pass as soon as it spawns, over to Orianna. just going to take the wolves. And uh, Extinct actually making his presence here in bot. Wants to get some harass down on the double lift open up some time for Creighton to actually go get a few last hits of his own. It's, one of, like, it's all about the pressure. Oh, actually, double chicken, so low. Blow laser. the flash. Blow. Where's Lux? Where's the laser when She's you already need gone. it? She's already gone. An Extinct, he, if he does go back, he's going to be spotted by a ward. Looks like they're just going to take the, the uh, double golems. They see Extinct going back to the mid lane. And no kill there, but you know what? They uh, they have control of the lane again. They can push up, they can deny a decent amount of CS. There's actually a lot of time being spent on these golems. It is it is also still getting back double lifts health. He does have the Vamp Scepter. He has a Vamp Scepter. He's, and he's waiting for he's the a push, push, I believe. Yeah, he's so he is back. He's back. He doesn't really need to full back on this. Which he won't, especially because of retreating. So now he's not going to be in danger of dying to an ultimate from Lux. Right. He's going to be safe. They did what they need to do. The CS difference is still going to be about 20 in favor of double lift once those creeps in the turret die. Yeah, and now the wave's actually been pushed up, so there's an opportunity for Seal to Prime to actually freeze the lane uh, down bot and make it even harder for Curse EU to farm down there. So but we'll see how uh, how well that progresses. And you know, the, gold, the gold difference is actually pretty significant so early on. It's about 500 gold between the ADs, and that, that could actually expand. And now also double up, he is level six. He does he can get that shot off. And uh Ezra Lu not gonna be so lucky following up that uh, following up after that harass. I think, I think it's gonna be really important in this game is gonna be the roaming from extinct. If you can get some kills off, if you can either farm yeah. up or get kills, that'll be the big deal. Being able to pick up double up before he gets into a fight before someone like Hotshot GG can initiate right. with the unstoppable force, that's gonna be I think what may let some control fights because this team, it's not just based around double if they have the Oriana ultimate with the yeah. Malphite ultimate combo. Oof. Ooh, nice Maluna, little disengage yeah. there. Maluna was sitting in that rush for way too long, just like hoping something would happen, but Big Fat was just farming too safe. Well, he, yo, yeah. Angush, one, two, three, gonna get the pop-up, but Hotshot's too close I to mean, the tower. Look how much damage that dealt. Very yeah. well, it did get through the shield, but that's gonna come back up naturally, and yeah. well, that's kind of the problem Zen Zhao has. He just can't get through the shield, and normally you don't build that offense up though. You're gonna be a much more tanky, so yeah. it, it's not a lane here you can do that much in, but he's, in, he's not going to. That's not his plan. He's gonna be an initiator kind of like Hotshot is. Yeah, and not to mention Hacha, he went with those Ninja Tabby first. I, uh, I I would expect him to go something like a Chain Vest next, just so he can actually stay in lane even longer than he is now. But Chester coming in from behind on the top try. Angus, he's thinking about it. He's wondering, okay, he knows. Oh, Ultimate is, is up on Hotshot. They can go very aggressive. There is a Cho'Gath nearby, but Luno is in the area, but I don't, they can't go for the dive. The burst will be insane. Yeah. Luno actually doing the defensive move here. Throwing down the rupture sees no one in the brush, has no idea where Chouster went from there, but uh, he is actually maneuvering up down to the mid, and it looks like the, they're also going to steal the red right underneath Luno's nose. Oh. There's a Lux laser. Not going to be stealing that red. There's CLG still going to secure it. 
nice invade coming in from Prime. Shots are actually killing the last little lizard right there just to make sure he got the timing. <laughs> just to make sure there's ghost being used. They're going for a gank on uh, Extinct right there. there. Yep, there is the ghost. It is back up. He's going in for the slow just to keep it back. Where is the stun? Oh! Nice flash out of the Ori orb. Wonderfully done. And meanwhile, Hotshot and Angus still duking it out doing a temporary truce while they're both at half. I think Angus tried to. It looked like he wanted to knock Hotshot, but unfortunately, when he attacked, he applied. Uh, then those passive, which does prevent the knockback, and that's kind of yeah. unfortunate. But you know what? The good flash coming out. It's still a flash use. It's still a long cooldown. Chester did use the ghost in the process, but yeah. if he can just use his ultimate move quickly, he can ignore everything Lux throws at him. So it's going to be still an okay gank if uh, Chester does head back to mid lane. That's important yeah. that Extinct is now exposed. No, no, no defense from his flash, and Lux does kind of have ability issues. She does, and if uh, if if you just get one missed bind, or even if you do land the bind not to do a, a ganking Olaf, well, guess what? I have he's Olaf. Like, whatever, he's right? Olaf. I don't, he doesn't care. He doesn't give a crap. He just throws on the ultimate. He's fine. He just keeps on running at like, you. I I'm a Viking. You don't stop me. No, you don't. And it uh, looks like Cho'Gath doesn't do a whole lot bottom either. Uh, they, they go for the pressure, yeah. but... I mean, Caitlyn, Nunu, as long as Nunu isn't far up, Caitlyn can just play far back, has a caliber net, has the move speed. That'll get her out of so many dangerous situations. Yeah, and this is this is a problem that sometimes we see with Maluno, is that if he, you know, if he doesn't see any plays in front of him, sometimes he'll just kind of like run around the jungle in circles. Sometimes he'll miss out a few things like Red being taken out from under him. So he does seem kind of lost at the moment, but... He is doing the right thing. He's actually farming pretty well. He is does have two stacks, and as we've mentioned so many times before about Cho'Gath, those stacks, that extra health, every little bit counts in these team fights. Looks like Malou is going to be meeting Chastra up in that top rush. Uh, they both kind of disengage, pings out from both sides, going, "Hey, let's um, let's not fight because the other jungler is here. They want to kill us." Right. <laughs> Angus, one, two, three. Gonna get the pop up on the hot shot. But he's he's losing this fight. The junglers are also nowhere to be found. Uses the <laughs> ultimate. Not quite sure what he's trying to accomplish there. It's a little odd. The cooldown's fairly low on it. He actually takes Hotshot down to about half HP. Yeah. He's got an HP pot running. He's got a mana push running. He's just trying to, trying to wear each other down. Angus is going to push this lane hard, get as many extra auto attacks as he can, trying to use that passive to get HP back. So it makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of funny to see. Yeah, it's a little, it was a little odd. But uh, he does finally ding 9. He still has a little bit of an experience disadvantage as opposed to a hot shot. But uh, he's doing pretty good pushing the wave. And he just, that's all, he, I, I'm, starting to, I'm starting, it's starting to come together now. He just wants to push the lane. He just wants to try and deny far. But this is a very risky prospect because there he comes the Malphite ult. Here comes Chowser up over on the side. That's quite a bit of damage. Popping the ult in pursuit. Oh, One more fail the flash. Fail flash. Unfortunate. Angus going down after that one. That is just... Uh, that sucks. It, that, it, there's, there, there's no other word for it. It just sucks. I mean, he made a mistake. He got punished for a good play coming out from CLG, yeah. but Angus has to be kicking himself right now. Yeah. And I mean, th the lane, we've seen how it goes. Uh, eventually, Angus will get even tankier. So will Hotshot. No one's really going to kill each other. But that, that is the threat that someone like Malphite presents, especially if Angus using his ultimate just yep. for the damage. I mean, maybe Shuster wouldn't react in time to use his Ragnarok and not get hit by the knockback. Maybe he wouldn't. They don't know that. And it's just it's yeah. the problem they do, or, they have, or Angus has when he uses that ultimate just for DPS. So what, um, is Angus as uh, slowly... What oh, is he uh, Oh, Kree Kreaton! Oh, the shield from Lulu actually just barely saving him. He's got to be drinking that health potion for a while. Uh, what does Angus need to do to stay relevant in this game? Because he's the only two deaths on his team. He's not itemizing all too great now because he's been denied a, a fair amount of gold because he's, because he's died twice already. What does he need to do here? He needs to tank up. He needs possibly the Aegis, which could go to Cho'Gath, could go to him. He needs more items just to be beefy. Because that's what he's going to do in these team fights. He's going to go and be a big meat, <laughs> just a big meat sack, and just take <laughs> damage. And as long as he can survive, as long as he can go ahead and use ultimate for good control, it's going to be what they need to do. Oh! Nice attempt by the laser, but just a hair too late. I mean, Smite can't beat Smite. Cannot beat Smite. But uh, that is another jungle buff, just straight out grabbed and stolen. By CLG Prime, they, they, have, they have confident control over Curse's jungle. Also, the warden is quite good, and just an all-out brawl once again here in the top. But yeah, was, there's great, great, great ward coverage actually coming in from CLG here. I mean, they've got maps all over the place. Only top side isn't that warded, and they're not too worried about hotshot at this point. Now, I mean, like when you watch Angus go aggressive with hotshot, he's not dealing damage. If Maluna shows up, he does have a lot of magic damage from the Vorpal Spikes and a tree damage from his ultimate. Yeah. But that's not going to be enough still. Hotshot is incredibly tanky, and he's got the ultimate if he ever need, really needs an escape. Things going down onto Maluno. He now has the Oracles, which is the right call here. 
recognizing that there's way too much coverage and uh, also too many quarters to be picking up Strode across Summoner's Rift. So he's going to be grabbing every single one of those if given the chance. Because Chester already, once again, going for the Take game. Buff. And that's it. You saw the little going to clear those wards. Like, well, oh, I know where you are. Yeah. You're down at the bottom part of the map. I'm going to go swoop in and grab your red. And Angus, she's going aggressive again. Hot Shot GG, you can fight him now. He has, he has a two-level advantage. Yeah. They might go for the dive. Would be kind of weird because of the knockback and the tanky. Oh, they're going for it. There is the ultimate coming from Malphite. You got Chester. We'll go with the speed buff coming in from the Shirelias and then Tot Shot doing a great job tanking the turret the entire time and getting out just in time. One more, he would have been dead. Wonderful dive coming in to the prime. But Big Fat getting chunked out by Extinct once again. Those skill shots, if they land, they hurt. But uh, right now, Extinct will be retreating back to the jungle for now. And Angus, every time he uses that ultimate, that just sets up a kill because he can't really defend himself. Or he can't defend himself underneath that turret, really anywhere on the map yeah. against someone like Chaucer if he doesn't have the ultimate up. Uh, double ticking or dealing a lot of damage. Another ultimate coming nice. out. Do I have to take it? And this lane. Look at the CS 160 to 126. Curse, they need to start making plays. They need to start going for grouping and team fights because as it stands, they're losing top lane, they're losing bot lane. They're not getting gank bot, but that CS advantage for double up, that's huge, and that's gonna really hurt them once yeah. they get to the mid game. And I'm actually I'm actually surprised that uh, uh, CLG hasn't actually taken out this bot tier one by now. Is that half health? And this is a very push oriented bot lane, as we said before. But uh, it, and there's still Curse is still putting up a damn decent fight to protect that tower as much as possible. They have Lulu, one of the best uh, support supports when it comes to wave theory in the game. Yeah. Something that's going to be like Nunu with his ultimate. Anguish goes aggressive on the hot shot, but like it's getting worse and worse every time we see yeah. a trade. And now the ultimate's on cooldown. Now Chaucer might just go out. She's going mid right now, going on to exceed. Can they get skilled? Another good nice. flash. Flashing out of the Ori Orb once again. Extinct has that on lockdown. But uh, then again, remember, Flash is uh, a significantly longer cooldown. Orion's ultimate for a Flash being forced out by a uh, Loco Doco here in Bot Maluna making his presence. And uh, <laughs> every time I see these two top lane fight, it's like at first it started out like a fist fight, but now it's like Angus just like it's like, a man like, versus a brick wall. Yeah, basically he's slapping a brick wall. That's all he's doing at this point. And, and now, now Chouster. Chouster's up here. They might be able to go for this time. I think Hunter's just going to go for it. Yeah, he's uh, coming in once again. The Malphite all followed up by the Olaf damage. Significantly easier. Just like there is the flash, but he is still slowed. One more smack. That will take care of that. And, and oof. I mean, that's a rampage, but that's four deaths. Every single death on Curse EU, it's on Angus. Angus, I mean... He's not really warding top defensively. They right. don't have an oracles on CLG, so he could be putting wards down. At the same yeah. time, he keeps using his ultimate. I know it has a short quota and is reduced every time he uses his Q, but that doesn't matter because Chaucer's coming as soon as he can, and yeah. there's nothing he can do. No, oof, almost got that binding sync with that one. Keeping Red Big Fed away, just a, interrupting the back. Chester finishing the job up here top lane. And I gotta say though, CLG, they're making the right decision with this camp out. They're denying the best possible person on your CU because Angus, he needs items, he needs levels, he needs that stuff to stay relevant. Granted, on, you know, Ezreal, Lux, they can actually be on the back lane, they can be relatively safe. And so, they're making the right decision here, try and take out one of the frontliners. And that's really what's gonna hurt the back line because someone like Lux, if she can't be, if there is no frontline, she will be in the front herself. Right. If someone like Hotshot can get to her and Stock can be like, oh, well, Angus dove and killed us, then you're gonna win those fights. And, I mean, the fact that Zen Zhao's not gonna be able to survive in the back line, that's gonna be, yeah. well, survive diving their back line, that's gonna be a big deal. He can't survive, period. <laughs> that's it. And a lot of it is just, he's playing this incredibly risky. He's going for the ultimate, he's not warding. It's it's not what you normally see, and CLG, I mean, they're punishing it. It's almost kind of like a solo queue top laner, where it's just like yeah. he keeps going out there and dying. Yeah. Moving doing, uh, still keeping the war duty up. Support Cho'Gath. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to be hearing about that one for weeks. Big Fat taking a laser to the face, though, brought down to half. And uh, CLG still looking to continue the push. You got Nunu actually making uh, making a visit over to mid, while uh, Double Uft is still pushing down bot, throwing down cupcakes whenever possible, just to uh, make sure they are still relatively safe. Extinct finally getting that boob up. Nice to have. And we'll be returning to defend mid. Angish, the push from Hotshot just never stops. It's what Hotshot does. He's pretty used to it. He's pretty known for it, from what I hear. And uh, that push is definitely not going to stop, especially when we have someone like Chester running defense for you. Maluno face checking the bush. Going to find a Viking rupture defensive, but will not be walking into that one. And Olaf will not be walking on backwards. Axe down. Angus getting a little bit too big for himself. Throws down the ultimate. Sends Hotshot back. And there's Lux Laser 
Rupture popping up Hotshot, struggling to get away, uses the ultimate to get away from the entourage of Curse EU. But meanwhile, bot lane, Double Up and Loco Doco are running amok on the bot tier two. Only Grayson here to defend. Oh, it takes so much damage. is isn't a decent amount to double up. That Fury was going to show up and he's going to take a lot in response. CLG still camping out. There's so many ultimates used by Curse just to try and take down Hotshot. Hotshot only using the unstoppable force, which frankly, that cooldown is incredibly short compared to everything that yeah. Curse has. Well, actually, no, it's, it's not a, that short. It's a minute short. and a half, which is still pretty It is apparent. a short cooldown, though, and they use so much, and it's, it did not do anything. They're not going to get yeah. that opportunity again. Unfortunately, Hotshot, a bit too tanky. A lot of physical damage coming out from Curse. Well, mostly being dealt by Angus, but that, that armor, that HP, is yeah. just going to stop it all. And Krajan was there in the bot lane defending. Uh, <laughs> defend, he definitely he, had he to be there. He did defend. He did save that turret, but at the same time, you know, it's 168 CS and 228. Right. It's a 60 CS difference in favor of double up, and they just. That's he huge. can't 1v2 down there. They send up Patoy to try and go ahead, help run the lanes, and it just was not enough. So, where where do you see. It's, it's, a, it's a 3k disadvantage for Chris right now. They're trying to make plays, they're trying to make objectives happen, and but the thing is, though, they have the famous, these famous pushes, these split pushes, because Hotshot, you know he's never going to leave top. He still has a teleport available, so if, he need, if he's needed elsewhere, he can just dip out. Doublelift is not going to stop pushing by, he's going there on his own right now, actually. You have the, cu you have the cupcakes, you have the traps to continue going on. What does Curse, what can Curse do at this point? They're being, well, they're being pushed in all three lanes. I think they're going to send Angus to the mid lane right now. They have a few seconds before top of the like They may make a time, they may not. Maluto now going aggressive, but it looks like th their goal is to try and get a little push going on mid lane. Just to get something down. Maybe force CLG into a bad position. Yeah. At the same time, if they spend too long not pushing, well, the split push comes into play, and now top lane is being pushed in bot lane. Yeah. Pretty far up in that lane. They might be waiting for Dragon to respawn. It's still going to be a couple minutes, though, and... I mean, right now, they're, they're kind of running around. They're not really doing anything. Rupture missing double if the silence will hit. But will be safe. Just meets up with the blood boil on Nunu and returns over to the mid, waiting for the minion waves to push. And uh, this should be enough time bought to actually take out the Tier 1 Chester with the axes just to keep everyone away. And there you go, Tier 1. All of the Tier 1s are down for Curse EU at the moment. And a very smart play coming out from CLG. They went ahead, push top lane, push bot lane, like I mentioned, and then when first well, they expected the split push to keep continuing, they wanted to defend those lanes, and that gave uh, CLG a chance to take out that mid turret. A very important turret to control. There is the orb onto Hotshot. Laser taking double lift down another third. That is huge. But keep in mind, though, the Orianna ultimate it is up. Hotshot GG, his ultimate. Malphite ultimate is up. He could be looking for an engage. Everyone from Curse EU is very clumped up. Rupture keeping people away. But this is a very big poking battle here in the mid near like an ARAM almost, just waiting for the opportunity, waiting for the initiation if they can get it. They're looking for that chance, but CLG, they're going to let those waves clear. Actually, look at double up going towards that bot line. He knows that uh, yeah. those waves are going to build up be huge, and uh, that's a lot of CS. The CLG can pick up that. Well, Curse, their waves are pushing out, so every time they push out, all those minions that die in that push, that's oh, not going to them. look at this. Look at this. They're getting the push down the bot, and CLG Prime is waiting here waiting for the transition from Curse EU from mid to bot to see if they can't actually catch out anybody. You have the ward placement here just for the vision. Ezreal with the ult down the wave, but it is not enough bot tier 2 now falls. Seals your prime taking that one and everyone in the brush by the blue all backing together as a team. How cute is that? <laughs> Gonna go home. Gonna enjoy themselves. Yeah. Adios, folks. <laughs> everyone, it's, 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 we got some stuff to do. It's a family trip. Yeah, family every, every, trip back to the base. We're gonna buy up. Uh, every, everyone hop in the car. Everyone, hop, Hotshot's driving. All right, so Red Pot <laughs> bot on the Malphite. Hotshot GG. He's gonna have that potion. He's super duper tanky. Now has a frozen heart, which yep. means Agus doesn't do that much damage to him. Creation doesn't do that damage to him. And Extinct, his cooldowns are gonna be kind of beefy, so he can't really do that much to uh, Hotshot GG as well. That's gonna be a big issue, especially because he's gonna just dive in there. And I don't know if they have what it takes to deal with that pressure. Yeah, and once uh, once Hotshot gets one more level, that's gonna be level 16. That's level three in the ult. That's that, that's such a short cooldown. And it's believe, nearly every minute. Yeah, and the fact that Malphite will almost always have that up for a fight, that's a hard engage. That's that's what stops someone like Lux. That's what yep. stops uh, this back line of curse. It's gonna be a four v five, but Hotshot does have his teleport to get to this engagement. Yeah, that was huge though, taking out these wards because that's if you're gonna be fighting in a river like this in front of an objective like Dragon, that is the only teleport spot you have. So hope the coordination's there and the uh, curse is actually on point and can clear out these wards quickly enough. They may be able to prevent that, but that's pretty much all they got. Ping's going down like crazy in the mid by both teams. 
CLG, the remaining four members of CLG Prime wants to get some free damage on this turn, but there's Anguish with the engage on the double left. Actually pushed away the net, keeping double free damage. Oh, Stand still just to evade the Lux laser. The prediction will not come true. Chester out still in the front, binding missing, and uh, we got man, Hotshot still has the ult. He's looking up for also. it. Yeah, the ult is He's up looking for, for it. Malphite and Ori. The orb is sitting right there in the middle lane. Angus though separating out Chester. Here comes the Caitlyn ult. Extinct gonna be tanking that one for the team, and. Oh, and CLG deciding to back off. They saw the Malphite ultimate. Lots of ultimates are coming up for first. They do have oh triple no. Anguish. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's the place to fly! That is the second worst flash I've seen from Anguish all day today. The first. At least he got over the wall this time. At least time. he got over the wall this but time. But actually, it looks like Chris trying to chase. They saw Chester low in the jungle. If they get. Oh, Xeek uses all. It did miss. Oh, Chester somehow lives from the shots coming from Ezreal, but now, right now, Chris EU is regretting the decision. Logo Doko out in front. He may also get the ultimate here, but forcing the flash out from Aluno. Ping's going down on to Lulu, returning to the mid, binding, keeping Big Fat and Hot Shot from getting out. Oh, Cho guy's gonna get out of there. Cho will get out. Looks like he's getting chased out, yeah, so. But the tower should actually fall on this push. That's well timed from CLG. They get into this big fight as the waves are pushing up. Gonna reach, the wave will reach the turret just as the fight ends, and now they're taking up top. They're taking out mid, they're applying wow. pressure all over the place. The toy takes a lot of damage, low on mana. And right now it's up to just Extinct. Extinct's the only person out of his base. Creatine does just now come into the top lane right as the turret falls. A little late to the party, but at the very least he gets far. I mean, Double Lift has three levels on Creatine. He has how much CS does he have on him? About 80. And this is kind of the story across the board. No lane is ahead in CS for Curse right now. And yeah. it's showing just because they can't deal damage to Hotshot. They can't really reach the back line. And how much damage can Double Lift deal out right now? How much burst is Orianna doing? They yeah. cannot team fight, And that's scary because that's what their team is based off. Oh, team fights no. and possible Lux Knight. Hankish almost getting caught. And Chapsters being forced to pop that Shirelius. Binding will not be hitting. So at the very least, Curse is trying to eke out this dragon. But right before CLG Pride can actually regroup over in front of the objective, the coverage is not here. The noms, the snack will happen. Maluna going to be eating up the dragon. A little bit of gold going back to Curse of You, but it is still really a 7k disadvantage. And you know, the saving grace is that Cho'Gath with his feast, with his uh, smite, can have an incredibly good combo to burst down right. dragon. Because Chester, he was hanging out there. He was looking for that uh, smite steal. He was, but then also keep in mind that this is going to be great too later on when the, the Baron fights happen, which may actually be a little bit sooner than I was uh, thinking because Loco Doko Chester hiding in the pit. Lux Laser just for a little bit. Same thing with the Ezreal ult, making the assumption that Prime was actually doing the Baron right now, but the Glitter Lance is going to get some aggravation. Oh. He's going to get some free damage on it too. Oh, forcing the flash. Lulu has to get away from Hotshot over to the Red Pit. There's Baludo being caught by the slows from all of CLG. Double grabbing that one. There is the Caitlyn ult. Not going to be getting Patoya that one. Curse EU taking taking a shot for the team, and uh, CLG with that kill. I think they're uh, I think they're comfortable actually going for the bear straight out. And we saw this before too. Learning something today. Yes, Caitlyn can actually attack the Baron from over the pit. And it's a great position because if she wants to go ahead and push aggressively, maybe go towards Ben. Oh, oh extinct. Good try. try. That's a good try. Almost takes out Chaster. Actually, takes a little bit extra damage from Baron dead about 100 HP. But that's not enough. Wow. Extinct. Oh Two, God. Three. Two or three more shots from double with would actually be enough. He's, he's like, do I want to like, go for it? maybe I can do eh, it. Maybe I can. He's a care at this one. Like, whatever. If I see him, I go after him. If not, I'll skill this turret. And that's that's, that's a problem right now. Double of just has too much farm. Hotra GG too tanky. It's just the gold values are too high yeah. for CLG, and they've done it through great pushing, great laning, really getting that CS, punishing Angus for literally anything he's ever done. I mean, look at the deaths on Curse EU right now. Five deaths yeah. for Angus, one for Maluno, and that was. Uh, him trying to defend Patoy and actually getting caught out as a response. So it's just kind of like they played well, but they're getting they got punished in lane. The pressure top lane kind of collapsed around yeah. the map, and that's just CLG looking strong. And that double lift, Loco Doco, and that bot lane, they never got pressured by uh, Maluno except, no. except for once. And besides that one time, they did go ahead and get some CS yeah. for a. Uh, Creator, but that, that was not enough. And Extinct came down also, but uh, it was only, again, it was like a like very limited number of times. Yeah, and it was the just one brief moment. Yeah, the presence needed to be more from the jungle or from the mid down there in the Bali. They could have made a huge difference, but now it's a bit too late. Nearly a hundred creeps the double has over Creator right now, and uh, the gold is even a bit, <laughs> even a It's 9,000 gold difference. It's, it's, it's huge. It's a big number. It's right. 3,000 just between God. ADs. Luckily, Extinct does have a level 16 ultimate. He, is level, uh, he has level 3 ultimate, level 16. 
which means it has a really short cooldown. Probably going to be about 30 to 40 seconds tops yeah. at this point. So we can spam it out, maybe have it up once per wave, maybe a little bit less than that. But we saw double up there. The, the creep wave died, but the tower still had reduced armor and magic resist because uh, the creeps have been nearby. Right. And he got a lot of damage. Look at this. <laughs> this Hot shot GG. Still hasn't broken his shield. Still has a shield. Wow. One more shot. Still has the shield. <laughs> has got oh, another, another one. Shield. Shields on shields on shields. He takes shields. literally no damage being shielded twice <laughs> by Big Fat LP because frankly, <laughs> that's how like that's how much the, the shield provides. Hot shot, he doesn't need to do anything. He's he, doing it again! He, he can just stand still. He just, Aegis is hitting him! Hot shot GG is contributing to his team by standing still and ulting. That's all he needs to do. Luluno goes down to all of the pressure. Crane hit, trying to struggle to get back. Luluno gonna be using the ult on him, but Batoy, flash, auto attack, double lift's gonna get the kill on the support. Here comes the Ezreal ult. Not enough to kill double lift. The life steal is up. too big. Well, oh, no God, please, we're not gonna be getting double lift either! Oh, double it! Oh, man. Surviving to the very end that Zeke's Herald on Loco Doco paying off in dividends oh, with man. those jukes. I think he's only been hit by one or two lasers so far. <laughs> and never while well, he was low on an HP. Surviving. I created him in a dangerous spot. I gotta try and poke them out, but they've lost an inhibitor turret. They've lost an inhibitor, more importantly. Second inhibitor going down. Double up takes out Blue Buff back to full HP from all of his lifesteal. Hotshot GG. You know what he can keep doing? Keep tanking those turrets. How much armor does he have? I, you know what? I'm afraid to look actually. 279. But no, no. He activates his W. That's gonna be over 400 armor. Oh my god. He's not gonna take any oh damage. Oh my god. That and is there is dirty. armor penetration on turrets. That is so dirty. But it's just, it's too much. <laughs> 400 armor. How do you, how do you deal with that? I don't even. How, how can you wear that many vests? And he's teleporting. Where is he going? Let's find oh, out. See, all right, top lane. Okay, top lane. And now this is where the push continues. They still have they have a, a decent amount of Baron buff. Maybe about 30 seconds. I can do a whole lot with it, though. Yeah. And, but that means Baron's off the field. What objectives are left? Dragon is down. Baron is down. Red buff now being taken by Maludo. That just leaves one thing. One. That top turret. Yes. That's the only thing that's left for them to take. And CLG, they can take this casually if they want. They can wait. But the other two waves push up with super minions. They can just go ahead and dive it, apparently. Well, not even dive it. Have hot shot. Look at this damage. Angus, what are you doing? You, 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 you are losing this to... This, di this didn't HP. work 20 minutes ago. It's not going to work now. Caitlyn, does the Caitlyn ult doing that much damage? <laughs> and uh, Angus is dead. This is a now 4v5 yeah. against a team that is 12,000 gold ahead. All right, a lot of creeps just died, but that does not matter. It's, it's a hot shot. You can just stand still. He's, he is hot shot. GD is a rally banner. Yeah. That's he, what he is. Rally is back. And just hot shot. Now he is actually <laughs> the turret. He didn't even need to do it in the past. This is just. Uh, this is curse EU kind of collapsed and yeah. everything just went wrong for them. Uh, extinct. He was relevant, but he didn't land enough ults, he didn't hit enough people, there were just not enough good setups for him. Now look at Doko, ult in the creep wave, 10 to 1 score, Percy you getting obliterated. Everything. The first time I can say this pretty much all week, there's a there's a bald eagle flapping its wings. Enjoy, it's flying <laughs> around. The USA. American flag is waving, but this is only game one, as it, Nexus does go down. Right. Percy you, they're gonna change something up for game two, that's to say the least. I would certainly hope that.